While Nut Grove fans were not to be outdone by San Jose fans, the Bears quarterback may have gone to school in San Jose, but the Patriots quarterback comes from Walnut Grove. Tony Eason is a local hero there, and the townspeople honored him with a play today. Jonathan Mum was there. Who's going to win that game tomorrow, huh? The Patriots! The area! And what else would they say in Walnut Grove, where quarterback Tony Eason led Delta High School to the championship in 1977? So come join us in the celebration when the Pats put the Bears in per permanent hibernation. Besides, everybody knows Tony here, like the lady who used to drive his bus. And tell us the truth. He was the one who was always rowdy, pushing the other kids around. Oh, no, hey, he was a real sweet, polite boy. He always said good morning, and he was a really nice kid. I really enjoyed him. Do you know Tony? Uh, yeah, I've met him before. Uh-huh. What do you think of him? Nice guy. And you know they know him at Alma's. What was it he ate there? Hash browns. <laughs> so I give him a double order. <laughs> and it made him big and strong. <laughs> So today was Tony Eason Day with a parade organized by the local fire chief who videotaped it so Tony would get a chance to see it. Were the hometown folks worried about this bug Tony's picked up? Flew on her Tony. <laughs> he's, he's raring to go. Now you'd naturally assume that everybody in this parade is rooting for the Patriots, wouldn't you? Do you guys have any idea who's going to win the Super Bowl tomorrow? If you're for the Bears, how come you're in this parade? Because my mom made me go in the parade. Okay, so there were a few wise guys. But everybody else wants to see their hometown hero make good. But perish the thought, suppose the Patriots lose. I'm just proud of Tony that he's gotten where he is right now. It doesn't really matter to me whether they, you know, they win or lose. Although I want them to win, he's done a fantastic job being or doing what he's already done. Everybody in Walnut Grove and across the U.S. knows it, too. Jonathan Mom, News 10, Walnut Grove. And finally, this is obviously the slow season for pollsters. The question is, Tony Eason, a pre-Super Bowl parade. First of all, they had to wait for the drawbridge to close in this tiny, historic riverboat town, population 700, before they could finish the big parade for hometown hero Tony Eason these people were firmly convinced would still be able to quarterback the New England Patriots in the Super Bowl despite a last-minute case of the flu. After all, they said, they grow tough old galoots down here in the Delta. Bears do that. The local folks said this hometown parade and having a hometown boy quarterback the Super Bowl is the biggest thing to hit here since the California Gold Rush came through back in 1849. Weekly newspaper owner Vivian Little used to prowl up and down the sidelines with her camera when Tony was playing for the local high school team. Ever since he was in grammar school, he'd come out to the football games, and he was about my height, about here. And he'd say, Mrs. Little, will you root for me when I get to be quarterback? And uh, take him in his arms. did you suspect? <laughs> and say, of course I will. Today we wish him strength and stamina and courage and and, oh, and lots of penicillin right? and everything <laughs> we just but he's got the, they say he's got the flu he has the flu but tony has a thing that is beyond uh, us mere mortals but what do you do when you go out there and you wish for someone and you say baby if you do it it can come true your dream can come true and then you have to play the bears so at this point the hometown folks are pulling not just for tony but for Tony's doctor. Bill Branch, Newswatch 13.